Thank you, Kian Corla. Fisher, in the programme for government, on page six, uh, you promised, and I quote, investment in the supply of more and better care for older people in the community and in residential settings will be a priority for this government. Additional funding will be provided each year for the care of older people. The funding will go to more residential places, more home care packages, and the delivery of more home health and other professional community care services. Now, Tisha, the reality on the ground uh, is extremely different to the promises and commitments that you made. We know there has already been a 600,000 home health hours cut announced earlier in the year, and that has now been followed with an 8 million euro cut, which would take a further 450,000 out, about a million hours in what is clearly a cold and callous cut um, by this government. Now, the older and bolder organisation, a very respectable and reputable body, engaged in supporting people in terms of their care needs. Uh, they have a, a significant campaign on the way and they're identifying the views of people on the ground in terms of the impact of this. And I would just quote to you, Tishik, one or two. One uh, that, that wrote into you, Dear Tishik, I note from my inquiries on behalf of a relative that there appears to be no home help currently available to elderly in the community, no matter how vulnerable. This needs to change. Another says, as a carer for my 81-year-old mother, I can see the difference that being at home has done for her, even though she's in total heart failure. I believe she would be gone a long time if she was in a home or a hospital. And says further, I hope that your government will keep all their promises and home helps in place so that my mother can enjoy the quality of life that she now has. Thank you. Now, by any yardstick and any objective T-shirt, uh, it is accepted that the home help and care in the community is essential in terms of, of dealing and helping older people uh, to have a decent quality of life. Can you indicate why there is such a gulf between the language contained in the programme for government and the decisions that your government has taken in relation to home helps? And do you intend to review the programme for government in the light of the yawning gap between the two? Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. I think this is to deal with reality, uh, Deputy Martin. The target in the HSE service plan for 2012 was to deliver uh, 10.7 million home help hours to uh, 50,000 people with a budget of 200 million. Uh, the the, re the reduction here will see 10.3 million home help hours delivered um, to 50,000 people. There will be a reduction of um, 8 million in terms of the uh, service uh, between here and the end of the year, as the money is not there. Uh, I've made it perfectly clear already that the, the, um, that the decisions that will be made in relation to home help hours and home help service uh, will continue to be based on a review of each individual's needs, and they're all different. Uh, and no current recipient of the service who is in assessed medical need uh, is going to be left without a service. Um, so the overall, the overall uh, provision of services at home health level is reviewed regularly uh, at national and local levels uh, in the context of the needs of each individual client and of the resources uh, that are available. Um, as I said in answer to questions last week, um, two reviews happened already uh, this year. The particular focus uh, now will be on those who are most dependent and require personal care services like washing and, um, washing and hygiene and incontinence management and so on, uh, which are obviously very sensitive and personal, and maintain those uh, by, if necessary, reducing lesser dependency duties uh, like shopping or uh, cleaning as the case might be. So the position is that um, the money is not there. I have to, have to uh, adjust accordingly. But as I say, the, the, uh, overall, uh, the overall position is that anybody who has an assessed need for, for a home help service will not be left without a home help service. Um, and clearly the HSE are under instructions from the Department and from the Minister uh, to implement this uh, in as sensitive and as caring uh, a fashion as possible. Do you accept uh, then that, that the commitment to the programme for government is a dishonest one? It cannot be fulfilled and should be withdrawn? Because it's not our wording, it's, it's your wording. It's, it's you who said that additional funding will be, will be provided each year for the care of older people. You said that 
less than 18 months ago, after the election now, this is not before the election, there was much more promise before the election, this is after the election, uh, and you said it will go uh, to the delivery of more home health um, uh, services and more home health orders. Now, clearly from what you said today, that's not going to happen. And we know why, because as Deputy Simon Harris said last week in the Public Accounts Committee, uh, he said the health budget was clearly built on sand. Uh, and that was his comment um, in relation to it. And I've been saying that for quite some time. Uh, and the funding was there, uh, but it just wasn't raised. And it's the people who depend on home help or are now suffering because of the inability to raise about okay, thank you. Uh, 220 Question, odd million between health insurers uh, and, and drug pricing. Uh, and as a result, we have savage cuts uh, at the 11th hour uh, to people depending on, 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 on home help. And we're talking about people who are very fragile, very ill, and in very difficult circumstances, and who we don't want to go into institutions or into long-term care settings if we can avoid it at all. Uh, so I would put it to you, Taoiseach, would you now accept that the commitment made in very plain language there is a false commitment, or is one that at the very least should now be withdrawn because it cannot be fulfilled? Do you think so? Um, I don't, uh, I, I don't, um, the uh, uh, situation is, as I've outlined to you, the uh, re requirement here uh, to live within the um, budget signed on for by the Minister for Health is, 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 a, is a requirement that he's got to meet this year. I would like to have, I understand the programme for government, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to think, um, sorry, please, please. I'd like to think, Jeffrey Martin, that, um, that uh, the, the restructure that's going on here, both in terms of the Croke Park Agreement and the review of that, uh, the implementation of squeezing the maximum out of that uh, program that will lessen the impact on frontline services is work that's underway. The um, decision and the agreement reached in respect of the uh, drugs situation and the cost of drugs will yield, will yield substantial savings uh, of 400 million over the next three years. The, um, the decisions uh, 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 and agreements in respect of some of which may go to the Labour Court rising from consultants re rostering will bring about savings in the future. These are things that I'd, I'd like to see have happened by now, but because of a, a variety of, of uh, difficulties, uh, haven't been able to uh, be finalised. So for the, uh, for the, for the foreseeable uh, future between here and the end of the year, uh, the Minister for Health uh, has got to make adjustments uh, to his budget. Um, as I said to you, the review in each case uh, will be carried out uh, sensitively and with a degree of uh, un understanding. I, I, I believe you me, Deputy Martin, uh, I'd much prefer to be standing up here saying not only are we in a position uh, to continue the level of, of, of hours for home health services between here and the end of the year, but to expand it, but that's not reality. And as I said to you, the, um, the review will be based the yeah, review of the individual you. needs uh, We're over time, uh, each you. person will be based on their medical requirements, Deputy Martin, um, and uh, where, where medical assessment says that the person requires the level of home health, then that's not going to be, and they're going to have that. Uh, and uh, clearly, uh, clearly the review also takes into account where there are, where there are hours allocated to individuals uh, who are not uh, as needy as those who require uh, medical service on a, on, a, on, a, on a regular basis. Clearly, they speak for themselves. So it's a case of uh, it's a case of the minister having to make adjustments with a reality here. Uh, clearly, the changes that have been made to the structures of health will deliver savings, which, as he said himself, will uh, lessen the impact on frontline services. And that's why the ongoing uh, work and discussions and negotiations in regard to Croke Park. I hope can um, evolve to a point where very substantial savings can be squeezed um, as a consequence of the um, of the Croke Park being implemented in full in the shortest possible time. Thank you.